to anybody who is an incoming freshman, transfer student, coming to college in the fall, this video is for you. Maybe I need to say it again and zoom in for emphasis. Anybody who will be attending university, any type of college, where they going off to live in a dorm, this video is for you. Okay, so I'm not even going to waste any time. All right, but before we get started, I just want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Corey Maria. I am a YouTuber who vlogs about life, college, just basically anything under the sun. Right now, I'm getting more into college-based videos, so I hope y'all like the material that I'm bringing. That's beside the point. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, okay? And make sure you turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified whenever I post. Because I be dropping videos randomly, but every week I post. And did I say subscribe? Cause y'all need to do that. I'm gonna give y'all a minute to do it right now. You done? Oh, you not, you not done yet? Okay, I can wait, I can wait. You done now? All right, bet, let's get into the video. So the point of this video is to give you guys everything you need to know on how to survive dorm life your freshman year of college. The information I'm about to drop on y'all is critical. Look, if you don't know this stuff, you might not make the cut. So I'm trying to help y'all so that y'all are fully equipped when the time comes so that y'all know what's up, okay? We just gonna hop right into this video because this, I, look, I gotta tell y'all this stuff. Survival tip number one, you have a limited space in your dorm room. Do not carry with you your whole wardrobe from home because it won't fit. It just won't. Like, realistically speaking, all them clothes will not fit in those small drawers and dressers that the college gives you. My tip to y'all is pick and choose what you want to bring to college and bring that. Do not bring everything because you will not be able to fit it, baby. Listen to me. Okay, tip number two. In order to make it in the dorms, you need to invest in some good noise-canceling headphones. I'm telling you, it's never fully quiet in a dorm room because it's always somebody talking, it's always somebody yelling, or somebody always doing something. So you need to invest in a good pair of noise canceling headphones, okay? Whether those be Bose, Sony, uh, Beats, I guess. You do your reviews, you decide which ones you want to take. More little story is bring you a good pair of noise canceling headphones because you will need it. Um, and that's both in the dorm and outside the dorm. Survival tip number three. In order to make your dorm room bearable, you want to personalize it. You want to make it your own. Now in doing so, you don't want to break the bank. You don't want to run up a check trying to buy all the little cutesy stuff for your dorm. Now, if you had the money for that, go, go ahead, go ahead, do what you want to do. But if you're not trying to break the bank and you're specifically shopping on a budget, there's a lot of great stuff you can get within budget and still be able to fully express yourself and personalize your room to the fullest extent. There's there are a lot of places you can go for inspiration on how to do that. I remember the summer before my freshman year, I stayed on Pinterest for ideas. So I think any incoming freshmen, any transfer students, look, Pinterest is the way to go. Oh, I also have some dorm room tours. So if y'all want to get any inspiration from those, y'all can watch them. I'll link them down in the description box below. But we moving on to survival tip number four. The dining hall will not always be open. So in this case, you want to invest in food to put in your dorm. Now don't get too crazy please please because although people say the freshman 15 is a myth it is indeed not a myth and it can be very real if you do not watch what you eat but it's always good to have snacks in the room have a little grab and go pack in your room because classes get real time gets crunched it gets to be a mess in the middle of the year you're trying to go to the dining hall and you have like 15 minutes to eat so get you some snacks so that you're not hungry also if you have a roommate make sure y'all are communicating whether or not y'all can eat each other's snacks because that can be a quite touchy subject that not many people address so please do make sure that you address that with your roommate so that no lines are crossed survival tip number five if you are living with a roommate you will not have much private time i'm gonna be honest with you right now so to survive this you want to take advantage of any private time you get right and this can come from knowing your roommate's schedule so y'all can kind of exchange schedules put it up on the wall whatever so that every person knows when another person will be out when they'll be back so that you know and you can maximize your alone time and also in the shower that's also another great place that you get private time you know you could just be alone with your thoughts in the shower that's another um, time to maximize your private time survival tip number six if you have a problematic roommate no fret to survive this make sure that you're talking out your problems with your roommate because most problems come from miscommunication i'm gonna be a hundred percent real with you most problems 
problems come from people's inability to adequately communicate with one another so you want to nip that in the bud you don't want any miscommunication you don't want any confusion between you and your roommates and make sure y'all are making boundaries set clear and if y'all have to write them down so be it do it do not immediately jump into arguing fighting and if it gets to that level where y'all just can't bear to be around it one another because there are situations where that does happen you can take it to the ra see if there's anything that can be done about maybe separating you guys or making further arrangements for your housing conditions so please don't make a big scene um in the hallway fighting and arguing with one another yelling at each other because i have seen this before between two roommates and it's just not worth airing your dirty laundry out for the whole dorm to see like that's your business survival tip number seven going off this whole roommate thing you want to have important conversations with your roommate to avoid these problematic situations okay so you want to discuss things like hygiene noise what to do when one roommate gets sick study habits sleeping habits alarm clocks etc anything you want to talk about and want to clear the air about before you truly like commit to a dorm partner or roommate make sure y'all talk about it please because that'll save you just so much time energy everything everything survival tip number eight please 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 wear shower shoes for the love of goodness gracious please wear shower shoes because i've seen everything from um feminine sanitary napkins to poop on the bottom of those shower floors and you do not want to catch whatever is down there okay and if you want to be real slick like how i was and like catch the bathroom when it's clean then you got to learn the cleaning schedule so you got to learn when the bathroom is clean and then the trick is to go in there right after it's clean you will get optimal cleanliness in a dorm room bathroom which i think is pretty good that's a pretty good deal all right so survival tip number nine speaking of showers make sure you have a caddy okay and when you have that caddy please make sure you hang that boy up hang it up don't set it down because that's germs hang it up on the hook on the hook put it on the hook and if y'all want to know what essential go in the shower caddy and how to survive a dorm communal bathroom or just dorm bathrooms in general drop a comment down in the comment section below but anyways back to it survival tip number 10 speaking of sanitation please make sure you wipe down every single piece of furniture every inch of that furniture both before during as well as after you use it please 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 as germs so many people have used that furniture it's been passed down from student to student so please make sure you wiping that stuff off germs live in dorms like dorms are one big old germ fest survival tip number i think this 11 y'all might be off Ooh, if you want to make friends, the dorm is the perfect place to start, okay? So there are so many different um, events and activities during Welcome Week that will allow you to um, meet people in your dorm. So make sure that you're open to that. If they even have an open door policy, make sure you, you know, open your door up, meet people. Don't be mean, but if you don't want to, don't. But if you want to meet friends in your dorm, there's plenty of opportunities to do so. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Just make sure you go to the events that your RAs tell you to. Survival tip number 12 protect all of your belongings I'm talking all of your personal belongings but your valuables should be protected the most if you're not that cool with your roommate y'all really not there as far as like you leaving your stuff uncovered or available for them to see make sure you're putting up your personal valuables so that it's out of reach and it's out of sight so that no problems can occur between y'all about that stuff survival tip number 13 if your room has AC please please take advantage of it because you are a chosen one. This is my last survival tip, y'all. So at the beginning, it's not uncommon for you to get homesick because dorm life can take some getting used to. But with these tips I just told you and with willingness to kind of adapt and, and learn about the new spaces around you, you can get through anything. And it just comes with college. Um, it's new surroundings. You'll meet people, you'll meet your people, find what really interests you and kind of make it your home. Make the best out of it with what you have and the rest will really take care of itself so with all that being said that pretty much wraps up my dorm room survival guide um, if you guys have any further questions about dorm life don't hesitate to ask me or drop a comment down in the comment section because I'll be more than happy to help y'all out that's pretty much all I got for y'all right now y'all like my content y'all like what I'm seeing y'all like what I'm doing with my channel where I'm going don't forget to subscribe and like and comment on this video because that really helps out my videos y'all be blessed and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video all right peace